Hello again everyone. Well today I wanted to show you my 1983 British Telecom Special Range Empress Telephone. Now this particular phone was introduced into the BT Special Range at a time when consumers were able to buy their telephones. They no longer just had to rent them. And for that purpose BT started to offer this new type of line cord with a modular plug called the 431A plug and this is the modern type BT line cord that we still use today and the line cords were different than line cords from earlier days, the 60s, 70s so forth um, because it was like this flat design um, older line cords from the previous times were sort of rounded but I believe they made them flat like this so that they could be easily crimped into the plug so there we go, that's that so here's the phone itself. Now this is actually a pretty rare phone. It's rather garish as you can see. But it's in this nice sort of aqua blue colour. It has these random floral patterns on the case. That also continues on the handset as well. But this phone's sort of supposed to be like a French styling. And that can be seen by the handset there. Rather uh, <laughs> garish. And it's interesting to note that the accents, the gold accents on the handset are actually plastic whereas the cradle here is metal and you can see the clashing of the shade differences there but you know it was the 80s. So there's the hook switch there and this bit of design here at the bottom is actually a carry handle. So I am um, haven't done anything with this handset really, it's still got the original carbon transmitter and the original receiver. But these parts unscrew here, I won't do it now because they're very difficult to um, unscrew. But yeah, there we go, it's got a standard length handset card, very typical for a British phone. We didn't really have the super long handset cards like they did in the USA. So let's have a look at the keypad. Here you can see it's 1 through to 0, there's no star and hash key because this keypad is a pulse dialing keypad. So when you press these buttons it dials out in pulse the same as it would if you were to use a rotary phone. The buttons have a nice sound to them. As you can hear. And M there stands for memory redial or last number redial. So let's have a look at the bottom of the phone. It is plastic as you can see. Here's the rating sticker. So it says Empress Telephone TSR 8018A, TSR meaning Tele Special Range. FGB there is the manufacturer that made this and it was made in 1983. Has a nice early British Telecom logo there, that's cool. And very typical for 80s telephones, it has this approved sticker because of course by this time as I mentioned about the line card the user could buy their phone and connect it to the line. If it didn't have this green dot here, the approved sticker, then you were you were not allowed to plug it into the phone line. It was illegal. And uh, ones that weren't approved had a red triangle. So this phone does have a bell. There's no adjustment on it despite there being little um, areas there where it says loud. <laughs> But uh, I believe these shells were made in the USA, so obviously they probably had different components. But this has, of course, BT components. We have the line card and handset card there at the back, hardwired. Um, and also the feet are all intact. I did clean these up because they were quite black. So I just got a bit of sandpaper and sanded them off. So the only other thing to show you really is that at the front here we have a number card. I don't know what number card this would have had originally. But I just put this one in here, I think it was off a Contempra. So it says Operator 100 Emergency 999. Just a little flap there that lifts up and you can slide a bit of paper in and out of there. So there we go. So, let's put that back on there. We'll get it plugged in now. Alright then, the Empress is now connected to the telephone line. So now we can begin the demos. And as always, I'll start with an outgoing call. So here goes. So there's the dial tone. 
And as I said, because this is a pulse dialing keypad, you can press the buttons faster than it will dial out. So once you've finished dialing out, you'll continue to hear the pulses in the receiver. Hello, thanks for calling BT. In a few words, please tell us how we can help you today. It's about my telephone bill. Thank you. For your balance or next bill date, press 1. Payments or direct debits, choose 2. For more time to pay, it's 3. Press 4. And as you could tell there, by pressing those buttons on that call menu option, it had no effect because this is a pulse keypad and not a touch tone keypad and the call menus only recognise tone. But as you could see there, the, uh, the transmit was working fine on that uh, automated call there. So let's call one other number. So there's the dial tone again. Okay, so we can see that that was working fine there. So now I'll show you the last number redial. So there we have the dialing tone again. And now I'll press M, which means memory redial. So there we go, you can see that that all works as it should. So there we go, that concludes the outgoing call demo. So, um, finally I'll call the phone here to um, simulate an incoming call and you'll be able to hear the nice mechanical bell ringer. It's just a single gong bell ringer and it's uh, quite clangy which, to be honest, goes with the aesthetics of the phone. So, without further ado, I'll call it for you now. Just getting the number up on my iPhone. Okay, there we go. So here goes. There we go, I've answered it now, and as you could hear it is quite clangy. It's quite loud though, it's got um, a good loud bell to it. So, here I have my iPhone which I've just called my landline from. So I'll just mute the microphone there on my iPhone and I'll put it on speaker. And now, I'll put it in view so you can see it. So now I'm going to transmit into the handset. Testing, Testing. One, one, two, three. three. To be honest, honest. For a carbon transmitter, this is very clear. I'm quite impressed. Very good. There we go. Notifications. You can't get away from them, can you? Just had a pop up then. Um, on my phone. <laughs> Dear me. So, um, the carbon transmitters over time can, the granules inside can clump up and then they don't transmit the sound down the line. And to remedy that, you can just get the transmitter and give it a good bashing. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, I'm a bit sorry, I'm being rude. A bit of that, <laughs> in all seriousness. Just tap the transmitter or tap it on the table and um, that should free up those granules. But an electronic transmitter does give much better audio quality to the person you're talking to on the other end of the line. So anyway, on that note, <laughs> I think that concludes the demonstration on this really cool 1983 BT Empress telephone from the Telespecial range. 
bit of a garish phone, but it's definitely a necessary phone for the collection if you're trying to collect up all, or at least most, of the special range BT phones, like I am. So anyway, I'll start rambling now. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and also click the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.